Welcome to Little Data Courses. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the monetization reports. You'll notice that these reports are brand new reports in Google Analytics 4. In these reports, you'll be able to see where revenue is coming from and compare the performance of products. Some of the reports found under this section would be similar to the e-commerce reports in Universal Analytics. Before we get started, make sure that you have the Little Data to GA4 set up, as the events that we are sending will help populate these reports. The setup is easy, just go to the Little Data app settings, click on the data pipeline, and after that, you'll enter the measurement ID and the measurement protocol API secret, and you're all set. To get to the monetization reports, you'll want to navigate to the report section in GA4, and you'll go ahead and click on monetization and select overview. Now the overview report is going to give you an overview of the total revenue. That means the total value from all of the events. You can select between total revenue and e-commerce revenue, and these metrics should be the same. You can also select ad revenue if you are running ads. And just like in Universal Analytics, you'll be able to change the dates that you want to analyze. Super customizable, and you can just click apply. Now, in regards to subscription data, you'll be able to see total purchasers and first-time purchasers. Now, these are both user-based metrics. You'll also be able to see the average purchase revenue per user and which products are performing the best. You'll also be able to add comparisons, which are just like segments in the Universal Analytics. You can add them from two places, from the right-hand side and also under the Add Comparison button. For this instance, let's go ahead and add the dimension of town and city and select Washington as the town city. Go ahead and click OK and apply and that's going to populate. You can add different comparisons here and they will immediately be applied to the report. Now one thing to note is that these comparisons will carry over to the other monetization reports that you set up. So let's go ahead and remove that. Next we'll go to the e-commerce purchases. And under e-commerce purchases, you'll be able to see the product name, item views, and viewing purchases by item name would be equal to the former product performance report in Universal Analytics. The item revenue and purchase to view rate metrics would be able to give you more of an idea about the product level of performance. You can also change the dimensions that you're looking at as this report is customizable. For instance, you can go ahead and search for category and from there, you'll be able to do a deeper dive into what categories are performing the best. Now we'll go to the retention report. And this report will help you find out how long users engage with your website. This will include data from users who visited your site or your app. The report will group them as returning users or new users. Analytics will identify someone as a new user as anyone who doesn't have both the Google Analytics cookie and client ID from your site or app instance ID from your app. If they have this, this will be identified as a returning user. The user retention by cohort chart shows the percentage of new users who return on their second and eighth day. The user engagement by cohort chart shows the average engagement time of new users who return to your site and app on their second and eighth day. And the user retention report shows users who return in their first 42 days. The user engagement chart shows the average engagement time of users who return on their first 42 days. One thing to note about these reports are that they are all customizable, so you'll be able to customize them to see information that is important to your business. Happy exploring!